Hi, welcome to Bite Size Lightroom 4. Uh, I want to uh, look at doing a cross-process uh, finish to this image of uh, an American motor car which I photographed over in sunny Cheshire uh, and we're going to use the tone curve. And if we go up here, you can see here there's tone curve. I just want to click on that little arrow at the side there. This will open things up. Just make sure we're in this um, curve. You need to click that icon there, otherwise you'll be in the straight uh, curve region. Let's go to the point curve and we find out that we can actually edit now the RG and the B channels. We're going to do a cross process look so I'm going to go straight into the red channel. The red channel, if I pull this way here that's going to drive things into green but it's going to drive the darker areas into green. If I move this a bit further down here you can see the shadowy details are going into green. If I go up to this end and mouse down it I'm going to drag that up. I'm just going to drive the highlights into a softer reddier colour. So I'm moving towards the red that way and down towards the green this way. I'm going to miss out completely the green channel. Go straight into the blue. Because I want to, in the mid-tones, I just want to pull down, which is going to add yellow, because I'm pulling away from the blue. But maybe just push up in the shadows again and just put some blue back in those shadows. And we're getting a nice cross-process feel to things. Yeah, I quite like that. So that's where we're up to at the moment. Um, the thing is, I want to use it again, so I'm going to save it as a preset, so I need to go across to my presets. If we just click on the little Create New Preset plus sign here, this will bring up this. I've created a folder called Jumbler Presets. If you use the drop-down menu, you can always create a new folder and start putting your own presets in. I advise you, as you're going along, save your presets. You might never use them again, but just in case they're always there. But I'm going to call this Jumbler Presets, and I'm going to call this one uh, CP Car. CP car, and I'll save that. All the work we've done there in the tone curve is saved as a preset now. If I just go back and reset this, let's go down to the bottom here, reset it. If I just go across to my presets and go to CP car, click on that, you can see that preset's now applied straight away. No fiddling or faffing with me. I've just applied the preset, and if I'm going to do lots of images and I want the same kind of feel to each one, and get a preset and then just apply it to all of them at once. Okay, that's been a bit of bite-sized Lightroom 4. Uh, until the next time, uh, bye for now.